Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? Oh wait. Click it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Okay, we are back in the she shop today. Um, because my family's gone and I want to clean stuff and I bought myself a toy to clean with and I wanted to show you because we're going to be trying it today. I got all purpose power scrubber cleaning kit. It attaches to my drill. Yeah. I hate scrubbing my tub more than anything in the whole world uh, because I have bad back since that car accident and I can't lean over like that without it like shooting down my leg. I've got the bad things, but it's got an extender. So I'm going to open this up. I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. It will be an affiliate link. Because I wanted to try this. Oh, this is... Okay, first of all, two things that I want to try it on. And I have, I've not been able to get down on my hands and knees and scrub my floor since the accident. And <laughs> that was like twice a year. I got down on my hands and knees and I scrubbed every little inch of my floor. And I can't do that now. I literally can't do it at all. So I use a Swiffer mop or a Swiffer type mop, I don't know. It's one of those mops with the pre pre-mixed stuff on it and you can't get into the corners. So I wanted to try this brush to get under my counters into those corners because I need to clean my corners. I got cats, I got dogs, but look at this extender pole. I'm wondering if it works. Ooh, this spins. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So this is the one I'm going to use today. I'm going to get you guys set up in my bathroom to try this out on my... Ooh. Ooh, it locks in there nice. I was afraid that it was going to be cheap because it didn't cost that much. And I was afraid it was going to be cheap and not stay in there. That's awesome. Um, so the directions had said to spin it both directions. So you can clean either direction. Uh, so I'll, I'll try, I'll do this cleaning this direction. And the next time I clean, I'll do it the other direction. Or maybe I won't and I'll just wear it out and have to buy new ones. And then they'll just get more money from me and they should be happy. If it works, I don't care. I love this. Um, because also the Hashimoto's have talked about on this channel many, many times. I can't hold things as much as I'd like to, to be able to scrub. And I'm so excited. I can't even tell you, okay, that I'm getting excited about cleaning. It's a gadget. It's the gadget. Um, I've found a lot of really great products that help me clean easier since I got all these is lovely issues. Like, y'all, I don't even want to talk about my issues anymore because it just makes me sound like an old person and I'm not. I don't dwell on an, on an everyday basis. But this is gonna help me a lot. And I'm all for gadgets that help you <laughs> in life. You know, if I could live in the Jetsons future, I totally would. Like everything kind of there's a gadget for it. Feels like this is falling. This is too long. This one's longer than the other ones. I mean, it's good quality. They're not coming out. I don't see anything. I had this one that I picked up. It had a screw in there like holding it in place. And I didn't want to use it because what I thought was, but then if I press down the screw hit stuff, it's going to start scratching stuff. And I didn't want it to scratch. Now this comes in like three different, four different flavors, colors actually. I was going to say fl flavors, four different colors that apparently have different densities on the brushes. So I got the one that was good for cleaning bathrooms to try it out. So this yellow and black is bathroom cleaning. Um, I definitely want to try this under my cabinets though, because I can't get down on my hands and knees and scrub under there. 
I've asked my husband and my daughter to do it multiple times there. I will. I will. And I feel like that little mop just pushes it into the corner further. <laughs> like it's not getting clean and I want to get down there and scrub it out, but I'd have to get like, I'd have to lay some memory foam down on the floor so I could kneel. And then I wouldn't be able to get back up again. Let's go try it. I'm gonna get you set up in the bathroom. Fresh charge on my drill battery here so that it would be full power. Take that number out, Just put that number in. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I'll take your skin off. <laughs> and that's pretty awesome. And then if it goes this way. I'm totally into this. It's a little heavy, obviously, because your drill is a little heavy. But other than that, I mean, it's going to be like this. And it can only be used with a cordless drill because they don't want you electrocuting yourself in your bathroom. It comes with the small one too, to get into places. So I'll get in there. Okay, we are in Victoria's bathroom because it's a hot mess. And this is the room that needs to be cleaned desperately. Uh, I washed the dog in here yesterday and I did not rinse it out, but then there's, it's worse. There's just, it has not, I don't think she's cleaned this ever. So let's, uh, I, I didn't realize till this bright, I got my studio light in here. <laughs> it looks really bad. Okay. We're just going to go after it. There's no hope for it. Okay, I am just realizing that that pink line is hair dye. Yeah, it's staining my tub. So, huh, well, I love that temporary hair dye. Not so temporary on your tub, now is it? <sighs> I have to bleach it out. Um, it's working. I mean, the dirt's going away. But I will tell you this. You should wear safety goggles. Did you see that soap slinging around? It is slinging around everywhere. So when I try and go up the walls, it is like, it, it is really slinging. It's going to be great on the floor. Like on the base where the dirt was from the dog. It scrubbed that out really good. Um, the hair dye is not going away. I think I would have to bleach that. It's temporary hair dye. She did blue once and it looked like someone slaughtered a Smurf in my shower. It was not good. Um, let's finish this up and I will soak that pink dye. I went on a cleaning tear. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm not kidding. Um, it, <laughs> I know this seems like a silly video, but my hands, the joint problem from the Hashimoto's makes it like next to impossible to scrub my floors and my bathtub shower stalls and waiting for my husband or my daughter to do it is just kind of a pain. So I went on a cleaning chair and uh, yeah. That works great. <laughs> You're gonna need the little one, this one, uh, to get up underneath, you know, like the, where the water return is, like the overflow, because um, you have more control actually without this. So when you put the short one on, you're obviously gonna have more control because this thing, when you're at high speeds, is like, <laughs> it wants to go where it wants to go. So to get around like, the the drain and the all that stuff. You're gonna need this, gonna need this one and keep it on the short. But this worked great, you guys. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to get one. But oh my gosh, I'm now I'm gonna go use this one and clean out from under my cupboards because I don't have to get on my hands and knees. I can sit on like a little stool and just be like, <laughs> I'm gonna clean my floors. I love 
love a gadget that works. I think we've established that with all my trying videos and I absolutely love gadgets that work and this one works. So I'm having fun cleaning my house, which, you know, I don't love cleaning, not at all. That's not what this channel is gonna become. I'm not a huge cleaning fan. It's gotta be done though. And anything that makes that chore easier, oh heck yeah, I'm all about it. So I'm kind of in love with this and it involves power tools. Yes, yes ma'am, <laughs> it's got power tools for cleaning. Now the only thing better would be somebody else to do it for me. So thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I don't know why you wouldn't, it's that box right down there in the corner. See, right there. Click the link below and subscribe. And if you haven't got one of your Happy Junkin shirts, yes, they come in men's too. So I got asked if they came in men's t-shirts, yes. So if you click on the Happy Junkin shirt, you have to go, it's under that shirt, scroll down, the unisex t-shirts are down there which I put the women's ones in there because I personally don't like the unisex t-shirts. As a woman, I have curves. I want my shirt to fit my curves. So I, my main photo is of a woman's t-shirt, but if you click in, there are men's t-shirts available and all of the colors. So the drop down, um, size, color, all that stuff, you can get it in pink, you can get it in blue, you can get it in black, you can get any color you want and there's sweatshirts and there's t-shirts and there's all different kind of shirts. So thanks for watching everyone. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials, and of course, more junkin' videos.